So from the title of this video, you can obviously tell what this is going to be about. These are my favorite masks. Um, this is not an end all be all for masks. I actually just ordered like six more today. So I'm constantly trying to find new masks that I like because I have like super oily thick skin. So just anything can go on there and it'll work a little bit, but I want stuff to like really work. So I have mostly, I'm gonna move this in front of me cause it's on the side and there's a drink on it and I don't want to smell. Um, is that good? Okay. Let me just. <laughs> okay, so I have mostly kind of exfoliating, tingly kind of mask going on here, but I do have a couple, um, what is it? Like moisturizing um, and rejuvenating masks, which like even the exfoliating ones are really rejuvenating, but maybe for those of you that have dry skin, you don't want to just like unclog your pores like you want a lot of moisture in there. I don't really like ones like that. Obviously, someone with oily skin needs moisture, but um, I kind of like to do that more with my moisturizer. I don't really like moisture masks. I don't like my skin to feel all greasy. Um, so one of my favorite companies ever is Lush. A lot of people like Lush. A lot of people use Lush. Um, any of their little tiny masks that are like a couple bucks that you get a couple uses out of are awesome. I've used the Cosmetic Warrior, um, and I can't remember the name of the other ones, but Cosmetic Warrior is a good one. Um, and then I also have in my shower, this one's kind of gross, but you can see it. Let's see if it'll focus for us. Um, mask of Magna Minty. This is called, um, it's a face and body mask. Don't mask those spots. Mask, uh, oh, Mask of Magna Minty them. So, this is um, made with honey, um, talc, glycerin, peppermint oil. Um, it's really awesome. It's self-preserving. Some of their masks you have to put in the fridge. This one you do not. Um, face and neck, apply to clean skin. They say to leave it on five, 10 minutes and scrub off with some water. Um, I like this one. It has little beads in it, so it's very exfoliating. It's, um, yeah, it's really good. So I like that one um, just kind of for like an update, like um, maybe like when I'm in the shower and I'm just like wanna put a mask on really quick while I'm washing my hair. It definitely like leaves my skin really smooth. Um, and the mint, or like the, what is it? The peppermint oil, um, that menthol um, kind of tingles a little bit and it feels really good. Not like a painful tingle. I have some of those, it's not like that, but it's good. Um, and then I also use their Ocean Salt. This one is my bae. Um, a lot of people don't like this one because it's kind of intense, but I love it. Um, it's a vodka infused cocktail for bright, fresh skin. Um, and it's made with sea salt, grapefruit, um, obviously vodka, <laughs> like lime. It's awesome. Um, they have this one, you say like, just take a big scoop and put it all over and then rinse it off. I leave it on for a couple minutes. I don't think it really matters. You can follow the rules however way you want, but um, I love that one. That one, again, it's not gonna be like super duper intense, like my pores aren't gone or like my blackheads don't come out or anything, but it feels really, really good. Like my skin feels like a baby's butt afterwards. So if you want that baby butt skin, girl or boy, <laughs> get it. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna go like, I don't know what order I'm going in. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to go with something here. Um, so next up I have the Bliss. Um, let's, you know, I didn't show the other um, one, so I don't know why I'm going to show all of these. But this is the Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. It releases oxygen molecules and detoxifies. It's a super quick fix for dull, tired skin. So what is cool about this one is um, you want to put it on damp skin and then here, I'm just gonna like see if it'll do it here. Um, you rub it all over. Well, my skin isn't damp, this is a bad example. <laughs> um, it frothes up. It frothes, froths, froth, frothes. <laughs> it gets really, really, okay, it's gonna do it. It gets really, really frothy. And you let that sit on your skin. I, I do it for like five minutes. Yeah, um, you want a full froth to form. So you'll see, let's see if I can get it to show. It's getting frothy. Um, it's amazing. So I really like it because oxygen um, is really good to get like your pores cleaned out. And that one is just really energizing. Like I said, I don't really like moisturizing masks. That's not really what that one is. It's just very energizing. And it's so quick. Like. Guys, I get out of breath like talking so fast. I just get so excited about face masks. 
Anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, so, anyways, that one's amazing. It also smells amazing. So, um, if you kind of want like a really quick, kind of like five minute like tune up, I guess, that's what that one's going to do. Again, it's not going to get rid of your like clog pores or anything like that. Um, but it is really good for just kind of instant energizing, um, and just oxygen, like getting that, um, triple oxygen, like releasing, um, your pores to that is really good. Um, so next up is the Muddy Buddy Detox Clay Mask. It has activated charcoal, coconut, and cacao, 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 <laughs> words are hard. Um, so this one is... Um, a little complicated to use. <laughs> you have to like mix it in a bowl because it comes as like the clay powder stuff and you, you mix it with a little bit of water. Um, so the first time I used it, it definitely took me a lot to figure out the right consistency. Um, but once I did, I loved it. So it's a charcoal mask, but it doesn't have any beads in it or anything like that. Um, so it's not, it's exfoliating, it's detoxifying, um, which is really, really, really awesome. I love a lot of the masks I'm going to show you today are charcoal and they're really, really good. So I like that one. Um, I like the way it dries. It dries a different color. So then I feel like it's really dry. It really pulls impurities out. Um, and it just, it feels like it's really getting the job done. So I've definitely noticed like pure, smoother skin after that one. So this one is definitely, the ones before are more like exfoliating dead skin, helping kind of rejuvenate. This is for, um, going to help with clogged pores. I really like the Muddy Buddy ones. And there's always discount codes. Um, I got mine after watching Haley Barber. I think that's how you say her name. Um, on the internet. So just like Google discount codes. <laughs> so continuing with the charcoal party, the, um, origins one, the origins clear improvement, active charcoal mask to clear pores. This one is, y'all, this one is so good. Like I cannot even tell you, like sometimes when things say they, they like, clear pores like I've had a lot of masks before and I was like oh my gosh we get rid of clogged pores like I just am like okay but you lying you lied to me I cannot sing on key to save my life that's embarrassing um so this one is it acts like a magnet to draw out deep dwelling pore cloggers white china clay absorbs environmental toxins um lecithin dissolves impurities with all that stuff down there skin breathes a sigh of relief so you basically want to warm up your skin first, which warming up your skin um, helps your pores open up. So like if there is nasty gunk in them, it's going to help kind of open up your pores to release them. It's cold closes them, warm opens them up. Science lesson, y'all. So then, so then you put this on on moist skin. Um, make sure like, so this is not one you want to do in the shower because it won't dry. Um, it needs to, because I've done that before, I'm like, why is it not drying? It's, it needs to dry to be able to pull stuff out. And the activated charcoal in here, um, and especially the white china clay works really, really, really good. So I love this one from Origins. Um, it's a little, this is, we're getting more to the, like the pricier ones now. The ones I showed you before a little bit cheaper. Um, well, bliss is not, but whatever. Um, but you can use this about once a week. If you have just like done a lot to your skin, when you put it around your nose or really clogged areas, it might burn a little bit. It's not supposed to, but like um, sometimes people go nuts with their skin. So if you open up all your pores, um, when they burn, it's just like oxygen getting in there. So that's why they're like, oh shoot, <laughs> something is happening. Or like if your skin's really, really dirty and you open up those pores to be cleaned out, like it's kind of like when you have like a dirty, <laughs> dirty, when you get cut or something, you have a wound, you clean out with alcohol and it burns. It's cause it's like doing its job. So once a week for this one, um, and it is a little, it's going to get on the pricier side. So don't go too crazy with it, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I use it. I recommended it. It's a really good charcoal mask. Um, so continuing with things with charcoal and clay in them, I'm going to go, um, the queen, queen, king ruler of the mask world, glam glow. Um, I love glam glow for these two masks. The other ones are not like my, my favorite. Some people have used, um, some people have said like, Oh my gosh, it's like just a trend. I um, got to talk to one of the like exec or account executives for Glam Glow at a store I used to work for. And um, the black masks they actually invented because they were just like giving this mask to like people in Hollywood all the time. And the creator was like, I might as well just like create, create it, like sell it. Um, it's the black one. I just have a mini of it because it's not my favorite one, but I do like it. It comes second runner up to my favorite one. <laughs> um, so the black one is awesome. It tingles a lot. Like it tingles 
a lot. It's not burning, but it will tingle. Um, it's like a 10 minute facial. So it's going to help with anti-aging. It's going to help with, um, what does it say? It says like tightening, um, firming, anti-aging. I said that already. <laughs> um, it's just, it's their youth mud. So it really is really going to help your skin look younger and brighter and overall fresh. It's a 10 minute facial. So it's, it's what a facial does. Um, not completely, <laughs> but it does do some really good stuff and I really, really like it. So that one, if you're looking more for just like, okay, so I think I like just have something <laughs> come out. Um, that one's going to be more for like, if you just want an all over quick 10 minute, like facial and you feel like maybe your skin looks dull, that one does have beads in it. So you'll want to exfoliate it and scrub it in too. So like it kind of combines a couple of the ones I just talked about. Um, Glam Glow does get expensive. This one, it, all of their masks are $69. So like use them sparingly be light okay so my favorite mask probably out of all of these ever in the history of my life is the glam glow super mud <sighs> this is my baby i feel like i should be on lion king and be like I don't know, you know okay anyways um so it's like kind of grayish and when you put it on um you it starts it'll dry <laughs> words are so difficult okay so when you put it on it will um it will dry like a light gray and then where you have impurities it'll dry dark gray okay it's so gross because like all over your nose you'll get like little spots and then on my cheeks and also on my forehead and also on my chin because i'm just gross i got a lot of extractions lots of oil so it's nice it's amazing you can leave it on for like five to 20 minutes basically however long it takes to get dry um, I put this on it doesn't have any beads in it or anything like that so it doesn't really tingle in the same way that the black one does unless your nose is like super duper open like if you just it's like i don't know you just really opened it you've maybe like used toner on it before alcohol or something like that um it just the only times i've felt it really burn is like right here around my nose because i just have a lot of um a lot of oil right there so like it just has got to do a lot of cleaning work okay it's just it's just who I am. So um, this is going to be my favorite mask. I know it's $69. I know it's an investment. It's crazy expensive, but like, y'all, it's so good. I just, I, I will sing its praises forever and ever and ever until I die. Like I'll be on my deathbed being like, did you buy the Glam Glow mask yet? It's just who I am. Anyways, so um, another tingly mask, because I love tingly masks, is Exfoliate by Kate Somerville. This one is green, I think, yeah and it's awesome it is an intensive exfoliating treatment um this one tingles like they are not even <laughs> like when they say intensive they are not kidding mm -mm, they are not kidding at all so like they say to apply a thin even layer to a clean wet face and massage in circular mo uh, motion for 30 seconds leave it on for two minutes and then rinse gently and pat dry they say this product may cause the skin to tingle and flush slightly for a short amount of time if you have um gent like sensitive skin get exfoliate gentle this is for like people who are real oily with really thick skin aka me hello yeah that's me um if you do not like if you have really sensitive skin like that's gonna really hurt you um but for me i like it if, if a mask kind of tingles a little bit maybe burns i feel like it's getting stuff out so i really like it and like i'm an esthetician so i've used like acids on my face it's cool y'all like skincare can only go through the first layer of skin so most of the time even if it's tingling it's it's going to be okay unless you have crazy sensitive there's something wrong with your skin I, there's nothing wrong with my skin right now well i mean other than that it's oily but <laughs> i don't have like a disease or anything so, a disease or anything so i can handle that so i love this one a lot um it gets a lot out it's really i just can really see it work and it is really exfoliating so the one before was more getting out impurities, things like that. That one has beads in it, so it's gonna, it's called exfoliate. It's going to exfoliate you. Um, so that's why I like it. So, all right, next up, um, this is by Kiehl's. Cute little jar. It is their turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance mask. It invigorates and brightens skin's appearance. Um, all of these call themselves instant facials. <laughs> the exfoliate says it's a two minute facial. Um, this one says it's an instant facial as well. It helps with dull fatigue skin to restore a healthy rosy appearance. Uh, it's formulated with cranberry and turmeric. Um, so turmeric, if you didn't know, is really, really, really good um, for helping like get skin vibrant again. It's like similar to the way that clay and charcoal work, not in, in getting rid of impurities, but with um, vibrance. 
So um, they say apply visible layer to clear skin of Lyme Master Dry for five, 10 minutes rinse and pour water. With that one, you're definitely going to want to take it off with a um, uh, like warm towel or something because it had the little beads in it. Um, I guess the little beads. Oh, you guys, that smells so good. I just lost my train of thought. Okay. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> the little beads in it, the exfoliating beads are kind of hard to get off your face. Um, so like just get a warm water. I, I do this one before the shower, let it dry and then get in the shower because it's just easier to, if if you're not going to get in the shower, make sure you get a warm towel. But even in the shower, you don't probably need a towel. I'm just saying. Um, but that one's really good for vibrance and radiance. That's one of the few, like, ones that isn't, it's probably for more people with dry skin. But I, I think anybody can use it. The girl who sold it to me knew I had oily skin, so it's cool. But um, I really like that one. And um, I feel like after I've done some more intense ones, I'll take a night off. You obviously don't want to do any of these every night of the week. It is possible to over exfoliate your skin. You don't want to hurt it. Um, so that's when I'll do when I'm not doing like a charcoal kind of treatment thing because it does leave it feeling so bright and also so smooth. So love it. And then this is technically not a mask, but you can use it as a mask. This is the um, Clinique Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel. So it's mostly a spot treatment, but you can use it as a mask if you'd like. And I have at points used it as a mask like in my T-zone and then on my cheeks. And I do it overnight because like it does get, a, it dries, like it dries up the oil wherever you have it. So it's great spot treatment. Like this is the only spot treatment I use. Like I have tried every spot treatment that exists ever. Um, the Mario Badescu one is a close, close second, close, whatever words are hard, close second. But this one is the best y'all like, oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> I love it. Um, so this just says apply a thin layer all over the face twice a day after cleansing or spot if you're using something else. I don't like to use that in the morning because it does dry up a spot. So maybe later you put on your makeup, you're like, mm, that's weird. But overnight, you put this on a blemish and the next day that baby is ready to be out or it is gone. Sometimes I don't even, sometimes I don't even have to like pop the pimple. It's just gone. Um, and then if you want to use this all over, you're feeling a lot of excess oil, do it overnight. It's great, girl. So I like this little guy. Um, and you just need a little bit. It's small and you're going to be like, I am paying too much for that small little bottle, but you're not. Um, but yeah, those are all my favorite masks. I'm sure I will have like 20 more, 20 new more favorites like next month. Cause I seriously, I'm not kidding you. Like was on Sephora again, ordering new, anything with charcoal in it. I'm like, yes, sign me up. Thank you. Like I am the worst person like to go shopping because every salesperson can sell me anything. And that I work in retail. Like I should be better being like, no, I know that's a gimmick, but I'm not, I'm like the Eskimo you can sell ice to. Oops. So that's what I did today. I got paid today. So of course I went on Sephora. Oopsies. Um, so I'll, if I find another mask that I love, I'm going to make like a February favorite. So I'll put that in there. But for today, these are all my favorites. Um, and right now I've used all of them multiple times and I really, really like them. So if you want to try them, I'll include them all in the, um, description box, info box, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys like this video. I hope I didn't talk too fast. I 100% probably did, and I'm so sorry. It's just who I am as a person. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see more of these. Bye.